Hi, I'm Dr. Younger. I'm director of the Neuroinflammation Pain and Fatigue Laboratory, and I want to talk about psilocybin and chronic pain. It's one of the big questions in my laboratory. What are novel ways to combat pain? What are medications that should be tried, but they haven't been tried yet that might actually work quite well? Now, in this particular study, we're interested in knowing can psilocybin reduce pain in some cases. And we're very much interested in this case in fibromyalgia pain. And this is a condition where people have pain throughout their bodies, in their muscles. They also have a lot of fatigue and usually some memory cognition problems. The medication that we're going to be testing is psilocybin from psilocybic mushrooms. There are natural forms of it and there are synthetic forms of it. And when psilocybin is in your system, it metabolizes to psilocin, and then it is an agonist at serotonin 2A receptors. It's classified as a hallucinogen or a psychedelic because it alters these serotonin channels and it has very profound impacts on cognition and on perception. Now, there are reasons to believe that fibromyalgia involves abnormalities in the serotonin system. And so psilocybin might, we don't know that it does, but it's possible that psilocybin can correct or reset these serotonin channels that are aberrant in fibromyalgia. So that's the idea. The idea is can we give psilocybin in a single dose setting and have long lasting impacts on the fibromyalgia pain, beneficial impacts. Now this is a very compelling idea. It would be incredible if, if it worked that way, but there's no hard evidence that this is true. It's just, there's no evidence available to know one way or the other. The way that we can know for sure is to do a clinical trial of psilocybin on fibromyalgia pain. The very simple version is we take psilocybin, we do it in a controlled setting, we give psilocybin to someone with fibromyalgia, and we see what it does to the pain. And we are planning on doing that. Now, this video right now is not actually about the clinical trial. I'm gonna talk about that in more detail later, and I'll also talk more about the hypothesis and what we think may be happening chemically to the body. This video is about something that we need to do before we start the clinical trial. It's something that we do in advance that's very important in making sure we're running the best clinical trial possible, and that is we need to gather information. In particular, we need to gather anecdotal information from people who have had experiences with chronic pain and psychedelics. Uh, that allows us to plan for what may actually happen when we start the trial. So we have a survey for individuals with these experiences that they can share with us. We basically want to know if you had chronic pain and you took psilocybin or some similar substance, what happened? Did the pain go away? If so, did it go away for a day or a week or a month or a year? Or did the pain get worse or did something else happen? That's what we want to know. Basically, whatever the experience is, we want to know what types of things people have experienced. And that way, as we're making the final design choices on the trial, we can make sure that we have the tools in place to capture what might happen that's important. And so we're asking right now the world community to help us by providing their stories. There's a link to the survey below, and this will give you a chance to describe your experiences to us. It's a secure survey. Uh, you don't have to give any information that you don't want to share, and it is really just for our purposes in planning this future clinical trial. Now, the survey is being managed by my senior medical psychology graduate student, Kathleen Hodgen, and she's going to collect the data and will then use this and we will present the general findings and we'll discuss how they may be important to pain research. So very simple story, not too much more to say about it at this stage. Just want to say, take the survey if you can. Please pass it on to as many other individuals as you can or other groups. And I really appreciate your willingness to help biomedical research and to experimental treatments. This may really help those with chronic pain, such as fibromyalgia. So thank you very much.